In this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch BCS 612 GB cordless vacuum cleaner. Now this is part of a new range, at the time we're recording anyway, called the Series 6 Unlimited. And this is designed to fit in between the Athlete range of cordless vacuums and the Series 8 Unlimited cordless vacuums. And what I want to do today is to cover some of the features and benefits that it offers. So let's have a look. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you the main handheld unit. So I'll just remove this pole and as you can see this is actually used as a, a cordless stick as a lot of them are called. And to remove that all you do is you press this button here and that way this can be used as a handheld. So when it comes to the vacuum design, the this design is very similar to the unlimited range, the Siri 8 unlimited range. And really what they've done is Bosch have uh, come into the market with this type of product. And I must say, uh, for us it's actually done really well as a retailer. We do sell quite a few online and in our showroom. And with the introduction of this model, this has really been designed as a stripped down unlimited model. So on this particular one, you do get two batteries. And the main advantage is that what you can do is you can actually charge the battery and it does need to be charged on the vacuum that's probably one comment about it but what you can do is you can actually buy a separate charger if you want to charge the battery on its own but that's not included with this clearly it does come with a mains lead so it comes with this lead and this just plugs in under here so that just pops in and with each of these batteries so what you'll find is that you actually get around 30 to 35 minute runtime on the normal setting if you're using the any tools or if you do use the main head so if you're using it on the floor that can reduce the runtime what you'll also find is you have got a turbo button on top so with the on and off switch so I must say one comment with a lot of other products especially Dyson is because it's trigger based especially for the older generation, if you are suffering with your hands, say arthritis, a lot of people don't want to keep your finger on the trigger all the time. So what Bosch have done, and to be fair, they did it on some of the other models as well, is if you pull the trigger, then it does actually stay on, so you're not having to hold it on. And it's little things like that that can make a huge difference to the usability of the vacuum. And I'll just show you that. <laughs> What you've also got on the top here is an indicator so that just shows that it was switched on and I'll just show you with the turbo on so hopefully you would hear the difference there and I know certainly because I have used it a couple of times you do really notice the suction difference the main thing to note is that when you are using the turbo setting that it can reduce the battery life a lot. What you will find is if you're using it with the turbo setting and if you're using the main head to use it on the floor, you can be looking around 10 to 15 minutes runtime for each battery. Clearly when we're talking about half an hour runtime, that's for each battery, but because it does come with two of these, then some of the figures that Bosch quote will be double that. So the capacity on this bin is 0.3 litres, which is fairly average for this sort of price point compared to the other competitors. And what you'll find is on both sides you've got a max level. So officially, once you get up to that level, then you should be looking at emptying the bin. If not, then it can hamper the performance if you start to go much higher than that. And to empty the bin, all you do is press this button here and that pulls off like that just pop that main unit to the side and inside here you've actually got the filter so that's all easy to keep clean with most vacuums I would recommend that you actually wash these but I can see that there's several electrical connections so on this particular vacuum I wouldn't recommend washing these and also the filter it's quite surprisingly to me uh, this is one of the few um, 
filters on the cordless vacuum that the manufacturers recommend not to wash it. But to access the filter, all you need to do is when you've taken it out of the bend, you just twist it like that. And then what the Bosch really recommend is just giving it a shake. So just give it a shake over the bin. And then once you've clipped it back together, then that just drops back in there like that. And then the that just clips on and then you're ready to go. A question I got asked the other day by a customer in our showroom is why don't Bosch make one big battery that has 60 minute runtime compared to two batteries at 30 minutes? And really the advantage of having two batteries is they, they've got, come up with a range of power tools and garden tools. So things like garden shears and there's a whole range that they do. Um, and what you can do is you can actually use these batteries across all of the different tools. So what you can be doing is you could be, you could have someone outside in the garden using one of the batteries and someone inside with a vacuum. And what you can do is, not so much on the vacuum, but you can actually buy some of the tools without the battery. And that really does keep the cost down. Uh, so that's really why Bosch have come up with this design of having two batteries. So clearly when it's used as a handheld, then to start off with, you have got a, like a, it's like a mini crevice tool on here that's already part of the vacuum. So that's really good design because you don't need a tool for that. Uh, to be fair, that's something that Bosch introduced on the Series 8 unlimited vacuums and they copied it over to the Series 6. And some of the extra tools it comes with. So you've got the ever famous upholstery tool and with all of these tools they are designed just to clip on like that and there's nothing, no button to release so that's, it's different design I must say most manufacturers will have a button to release especially all the Dyson cleaners uh, but when you want to take it off you just pull it off like that uh, you've got this one, this is called the mattress tool and it's quite a, a thin tool there so if you want to vacuum your mattress, then that's a, a good idea. The other main one that this is really good, I'll just put that down. This is the, it's like a flexible crevice tool. So it's a nice and thin edge. And what they've done is they've made it a, a nice good length for us. And as you can see, it is flexible. So you, you must admit that it's not, there's nothing more annoying than uh, seeing bits down the side of your, your car seat. Um, if it's anything like ours then you've got all kinds of random stuff down there but what you'll find is that that's a, a really good easy design so getting down the corner of your, your sofa cushions as well so one issue with any of the cordless stick vacuums not just the Bosch is when it comes to storing it or charging it that can be an issue and what Bosch have done is they have solved this and it comes with this this is the wall bracket to put it on and you will notice at the top here that it has got a little slot so what you can do is when you come to charge it rather than just plugging it in you can actually mount the charger in here so that when the vacuum is on the wall then it will be charging at the same time and I must say it's, it's quite a simple design but it's very very effective and what you do need to do is when you've actually got it screwed onto the wall, you do need to put this little plate on. That's got a magnet in there. It's a little bit difficult to, to see at the moment. But what that will do is, when you actually push the vacuum on, that will just keep it sort of locked into place. And stop it falling off the wall. What you've also got at the bottom here is you have got storage for two tools. So although this one comes with three tools, you have got space for two on here. But what you can do, I'll just show you, so you can put two of those on like that. And it just really keeps keeps the tools nice and tidy. So we'll just quickly show you it in action. I've put some rice on the floor and let's see how it performs. So weight-wise on this vacuum, because some people 
it is one of the more important factors when you're buying a vacuum, the weight of it. You're looking around 1.4 kilograms for the main unit and around 2.3 once you've got the main head and the pole on it. So yeah, 2.3, which is actually very good for a coolest vacuum. There are some models around this price point that are quite a lot heavier. The other thing to point out is on the main head that at the bottom here it's actually really easy to take this out so first thing you'll notice is you've got all the bristles in here and to take this out all you need to do is on the front here you've got a little clip and that just pulls out so what Bosch have done and to be fair they've done it on uh, a lot of the cordless vacuums for several years now is they've left a slot here a little channel and the main advantage of that is if you've got people in the household with long hair or animals with hair that molts when you vacuum in that when you get the hair wrapped around here you just get a knife or some scissors pop it down the hair to make it a lot easier to take the hair off once you've taken that off then this just pops back in the side here and it does just clip back into place and the main advantage of having something like that is first of all it's really easy to do it's uh, it doesn't need an engineer and anything like that uh, i remember the days of some of the older vacuums and there are still some on the market where to take the brush out you have to get a coin or screwdriver to almost disassemble the main head but Bosch made it really easy for us. The other advantage is that it makes spare parts easy to get hold of. Uh, if I do find it I'll provide a link here to show you where to get either the main filters or any of these brushes at, uh, at good prices. If you are thinking of buying one of these vacuums I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch BCS612GB cordless vacuum. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe on a YouTube video and leave any comments below. I always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, what your thoughts of the video or if there's any other products you want me to try and talk about. Thanks for watching.